All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, probably the biggest thing that I have ever discovered in cinematography is what we are talking about today. My one contribution to the hive mind of cinematography is the sun wrap. I have talked in past videos about having one trick that you have up your sleeve that you can pull out anytime you want. You know it's going to look good. You know it's going to work. You know you're going to be able to match shots to it. You know it's not going to take that long. You know exactly how much time it's going to take to set up. All of that, if we're talking about my own bag of tricks, I have one. It's called the sun wrap. Not to be confused with the polar opposite of the sun wrap, which is the sun sandwich. So I am a living testament to the fact that you can have an entire career based on knowing how to do one thing, one lighting setup. And then, of course, you can add variations in there. You can mix it up a little bit, but really, it's one thing, one core idea, and then that allows you on set or in pre-production or looking at location scouting photos, as soon as you know this one thing and you know what's going to work, well, then that frees up my mind to do everything else. Every other uh, responsibility, every other task that a cinematographer has, if I don't have to think about what I'm going to do in the major chunk to get something that's halfway decent looking, well, then uh, that's going to make me more efficient. And my goal today is to explain it to you. Maybe you don't know this trick, and maybe you're just about to have it in your arsenal, and everyone's going to think that you're amazing, that you're some fantastic cinematographer. Let's jump into the virtual world, and let's see what I'm talking about. So first things first, uh, we're outside, and we're going to shoot a scene uh, with this lady here, and she might be talking to somebody else. It doesn't matter. For us, we're looking at this lighting setup that's going to make everything that much easier. First step, uh, backlight. Backlight everything. All the time, backlight everything. It's better. I'm going to do an entire video on why backlight is better, but for the moment, you have to trust me. Backlight is better. It makes things more three-dimensional. makes you in control more. Uh, it's just that much easier to use backlight. So we're going to need backlight. But backlight, uh, you know, it's easy to say that, but what does it actually mean, and why, and where do we want the subject backlit? very important. What I'm talking about here, the backlight that I like that allows you to do the sun wrap, is you need to have the backlight. Let's see if we jump into the camera here. You need to have the backlight. Where is it? See how the sun, which is the backlight here, is to the side that our talent is looking. Where is our talent? Man, this is doing this all the time now, this computer. Okay, I got to back out and start again. See how if I come down here at camera height, the sun is between the talent and the camera, even though the, the camera's facing in the opposite direction. Okay, they're between each other. So if I come around here, come on, please work. Oh, it's so close to working. Okay, so if I look up there, sun is between me and the talent. I don't want the sun, I don't want to be like this, right? Because then we're looking away from where the sun is. Uh, we don't want to be looking over there. We want to be this way. So sun, then talent. Now, once we're there, sun, then talent, we don't want, let's see, jump back in. We don't want to be on the same side over here either, right? We don't want sun, then camera, then talent. We need it the opposite way. We need camera, then sun, then talent. So overhead, sun is running this way. Right? We don't want that. We want, if we move this, and then we rotate it, and then we move again, we probably rotate it more because we're off. We want the sun over here. Camera, enter. Ta-da! Okay, and what we're looking for is that little edge. Right? This little edge. Because at the moment, what happens when you backlight things? This happens to everybody. If you don't do anything, if you don't do any modifications, it's quite flat, right? Like if we up exposure here, let's see if we can go, uh, let's up it this way. All right, it's quite flat. There's no shape on her face at all. But we can control locally what the light is going to look like. What we can't control is what the background is going to look like. So we need to come in here and first things first, we need to set to the things in the image that we can't control. We can't control the background. So now we have to decide just with ND, before we get started lighting, where do we want the background to sit in the image? I kind of like it quite dark. So let's play it like, maybe like that, where it still feels like daytime. It's not, it doesn't feel too dark. You know, we're not going for super, super moody, but we're going for somewhat down. This feels too overexposed to me. There's going to be no color in the sky. So I want something like that. Now, the sun wrap is going to be placing a bounce 
on the side where the talent is looking. So where is the talent looking in this situation? The talent is looking frame left over here. That's where we want the bounce to be. So we're going to grab this. This is our 12 by 12 bounce. And a 12 by 12 is perfect for a single, right? The smaller, the harder it's going to be to get a nice look. If you just put out a 4 by 4 poly here, you're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. So let's tilt it a little bit. Let's move it down. And let's bring it in. And then we're going to have to jack this up, I would imagine. And now let's jump in. Okay. So now you see, if we focus, you see now, actually let's do compare contrast first. Let's turn this off. Jump in here, we'll take a still. And we take a still. Then we turn this on. And I know that we're probably too close here. So let's come down to the face. And we'll slide this away from camera. And you can see the shadow on the shadow side getting more and more extreme and more and more flat. Maybe we might even want to rotate this a little bit more towards the sun. Like that. Jump in. Okay, now, does it feel lit? Yes. Why? Because we're getting too much exposure from the bounce. That's an easy fix. In the real world, all you would do is, I'd probably tilt it down to get rid of level, right? That would happen in the real world. Bounce, this is actually acting as a light, not acting as a bounce, so it doesn't work here. But let's lower this to, say, 100. Take it down a little bit. Even there, still kind of looks a little bit lit. Let's take it down slightly more. Let's go 75. Okay, now, that feels slightly more natural. Again, not perfect. But if we compare and contrast now, let's go to the storyboards. We've got our original. This is what it looked like without any bounce, just setting exposure to the sky. And then this is what it looks like with the bounce. Okay, that's okay. We're getting there, kind of. Now, what the sun wrap means is that we are lighting from the same side of the camera that the sun is on. So see this line here? Line to camera, bounce on the same side as the sun. This is the most important thing, and this is the trick. Sun over the far shoulder in the camera, over that shoulder, bounce on the same side. The opposite of that is the dreaded sun sandwich. Okay, the sun sandwich is to be avoided at all costs. Super unrealistic. Doesn't feel good in camera. Uh, personal, uh, I have personal, uh, what would you call it? I just don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want to see it. I don't want anybody to do it. Freaks me out. Let's show that though. Let's come this way and let's park it this way. Now this, you know, okay. It's too bright. So let's take it down. Let's go 50. And let's back it up a little. Okay. Much, much, much flatter. Number one, we're not shooting into the shadow. So when you don't shoot into the shadow, it already feels flatter. Here, nicer, rounder. Feels motivated from the backlight. Here, the backlight's on the opposite side from where all of our key light is coming from. You don't want to do that. That's the sun sandwich. Why is it a sandwich? Because we're squishing from the sun over here and from the bounce over here, and our talent is in the middle. The sun wrap is we're wrapping the light around. So the sun is up here. It comes and wraps around our talent. Okay, now to make this even nicer, if we go back to our sun wrap. So let's rotate. Let's go back to our sun wrap. To get even more control, you bring in the neg. And this setup, this V setup, I have built my entire career off of this setup. If you learn one thing from me, if you take away any idea on daytime exteriors, it's probably not that extreme, right? You're probably going to want to move this one slightly more this way. Uh, and then you want to move this one slightly more in. This is the setup. That's the way the shadow is pointing towards the neg. The bounce is on the side, same side as the sun. And ladies and gentlemen, you now have a trick. All right, now the thing is, you're going to have to get good at this balancing act. But getting good at the balancing act is easy if you know where to place all these things because it takes all the pressure off of you on going, hey, where are we going to place the talent? I know, in the back left spot. Uh, where are we going to place the camera? I know, 
on the shadow side. Uh, where should the sun be relative to the talent? I know, in the exact same spot that it always is. And if I want a little uh, more level, if I want it to feel a little bit more natural, I just open this up so I get more light running down the side of the talent's face over here. So if I open up that neg, it allows more light from the back right-hand side, which is over here, right? Opens it up, makes it feel a little bit nicer. Or you just back off the neg altogether. But this is the setup, a little V around. Sun wrap, do not sun sandwich. I don't know how much easier you could get one trick, but this idea has saved me. Well, not, not, that doesn't, have, doesn't hasn't saved me anything. It's essentially created almost every look that I've ever been happy with uh, on set. It feels the most natural. It's the most dependable. It allows you the most creative control on set to set levels because you can control what's in the foreground. And then for scheduling, all you have to do is make sure that the sun is not in the frame. As long as the sun isn't in the frame, you're going to have maximum control. So if you learn this, if you employ it, guess what? You now have a trick and not just any trick, a trick I know is going to work. So uh, a lot of the stuff on this channel is like, well, maybe this is how they did it or this is how I would do it. No, this is how I've shot hundreds of commercials and the vast majority of the time I'm looking to employ this setup. Doesn't matter if it's inside, if it's outside, I'm looking to employ this setup because I know it's going to get me 80% of the way there. No matter what the story is, no matter what the mood is, you can make it high key, you can make it low key, you can make it darker, you can make it brighter. All of those things, you just have to have the same foundation from which you're launching your attack on how to make good images. So let me know if it works for you. Let me know if you like the sun sandwich. I don't know if there are many people that do, but uh, yeah, this is my one trick that I am sharing with you. Do with it what you please. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. Many thanks. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.